Eagle Kids Online Service. Yay! Yeah. How are you, everyone? You're really amazing, aren't you? Of course, Boo Boo. Hmm. Before we start this service today, let's start our service with prayer. Yes, that's right. Hmm, it's really fun today. Uh, what you're, what you're going to do today, Bubu? Oh, oh yeah. All right, I need to go to Mon Mon's house today. Hmm, what's your plan with Mon Mon, Bubu? Well, I'm going to watch a movie, play together, eat snacks together, a lot to do. I need to go. I need to go to Mon Mon's house now. Okay. I will send you to Mon Mon house, but let's have our daily devotion. Daily devotion? We had that already yesterday. And today is a Sunday. It's a holiday for students. That means it's a free day. Hmm. Listen, Mubu. Will God stop love you when you have day off from school? No. No. And uh, God stop to give us the free oxygen for us to breathe today. No. Nah, that's why we need God's guidance every day in our life. But I need to reduce my playing time then. Listen again, Boo Boo. Daily devotion is very essential for us. It's, it's the best time for us with God that makes us remain strong. And it seems like a food that we eat every day gives keep us strong every day. Fine, I'll do it then. Hmm, okay, let's go to have daily devotion.
Week, I uh, think for the movie um, has to be released, but um, you know what? I'm bored right now, boo boo. Hmm, what can we do? What should we do? Uh, oh, wait, I have a game. Oh, what game? Okay, I have this game called My Memory Game. Mm. So I will show you guys a picture for 10 seconds. After that, I will give you guys questions related to that picture. Oh, I see. So, uh, we need to uh, memorize things. Yes. Oh, Momon Mom is game. very good at memorizing things, Boo Boo. Really? Yes. Okay, now let's start then. Okay, first picture. First da -da -da -da. picture. Let's count from 10 together, Mon Mon. Okay. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 4 Three, two, one. Wow. Okay, first question. There are two questions here. Okay. What's the color of the house in the painting? What's the color of the house? Oh, wait a minute. I think um, it's a little dark. What about blue? Okay, next question. What kind of toys is in the picture and where is the toy? Um, a toy? Is there any toy right there? Um, I don't think I remember. Um, I think there is a toy but I don't really remember, Boo Boo. Okay, let's check the answers. Okay. Dun -dun. Okay, so the color of the house is Blue, orange, and yellow. Oh, there so are three I was houses, right. Mon Mon. Okay. Okay, and it's a toy car on the floor right there. Oh, right there. I see. Okay, okay. then. Let's, let's start the, the second next picture. picture. Let's come to ten. Okay. Ten. ten nine, nine. Eight. Seven. seven six, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. two one. Okay. There are three questions for this picture. Hmm. First, what color of the wall is in the picture? What color of the walls? Um, I think it's pretty light. Uh, is it white, Boo Boo? Okay. I think it's white. Okay. 
What kind of animal is in the painting before? What kind of an animal? Um, I don't know. I don't even. I don't really remember. I think it's an elephant. Okay. Last question. Is there a toy car in is the room? Is there a toy car? Uh, do you guys remember? Mm, hmm. I think there is a toy car, but I don't know where is it actually. But I think there is a toy car. Okay, let's check the answer. All right. Okay, for the first one, it's grey, not white. Oh, one month. I see. Okay, and, then? and it's not an elephant, but it's a horse. Oh, it's a horse. Ah. Okay, and there is a toy car. There is a toy car. I was right. Okay, this is for the third picture. Let's come from 10, man, man. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, there are a lot of questions. There are like 1, 2, 3, 4 questions for Ooh, you, man, man. I see. Okay, what's the amount of painting in the room? Um, I think it's probably one. It's two. easy one, one. Um, I don't really remember it, Boo Boo. I think it's <sighs> two. Okay. Is there a plant in the room? Is there a plant in the room? Is there a plant in the room? I uh, I think yes, there is a plant in that room. Okay. Third question. How many chairs do you spot on the picture? How many chairs? How many? Um, three maybe? Okay, this is a trick question. What kind of scenery is in the picture? This is oh, tricky. This is very easy. Momo, remember it. It was a mountain. Okay, let's check. Then, let's check. Okay, there are three amounts of painting in the room, not mm. two. Oh, okay. And you're right, there is a plan in the room. Yes. And there is not. And there are four chairs in the picture. Four chairs. And for the last one. Yes, I was sadly, right. Sadly, you're wrong, Mon Mon. Huh? It's a lake, not a mountain. No, it's a I mountain. I told you it's a tricky. It's a mountain, Boo Boo. No, it's a lake. It's a mountain, Boo Boo. Why don't you believe me? I literally made this Game on, man. Why are you so forceful? Uh, I don't want to play with you anymore, Boo Boo. What? Bye. Man, man is so weird. He's literally the one who's wrong and he's mad at me. I literally make this game and I'm correct. Ugh, so annoying. But I mean, today for my daily devotion, I learned that I have to live peace with everyone. And apologizing first doesn't mean I lose over something. Should I apologize first? Fine, I'll do it then. Hmm. <sighs> uh, I think... Mon, Mon Mon was right. Yes, Mon Mon was right. That is a mountain. But Boo Boo was right too. I think it's a lake. But I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to play with her anymore. Huh? I don't want to apologize. Mon 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 Mon. I'm so sorry I was mad at you. Uh, uh, why, why are you apologizing to apologize to me first, Boo Boo? Um, I think Mon Mon was wrong. That was a leg, Boo Boo. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Mon Mon. Today, for my daily devotion, I learned that I have to leave peace with everyone and apologize first doesn't mean we lose over something. Oh, I see. But wait, uh, did you say devotion? Hmm. Uh, wh what is that? Can you teach Mon Mon? Sure. Let's listen to the Eagle Kids Minister. Okay. 
believe that you are curious about the available yeah, time with God, God, right? And you know that worship is the part of have available time with Him. Now, before we listen to the Word of God, let's prepare our heart to worship Him. You can put your hands in your heart like this. Let's sing this song. Let's close our eyes and let's pray to Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, come into our hearts. We long to see you, Lord. We long to hear your words. Lord, please speak to us, to every one of us, what you want to say to us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
We love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hello, Eagle Kids. Happy New Year. Wow, it's already 2023. First of all, I want to say that I'm so proud of all of you because of what? In this first of January, you make time to worship God. You make time to join this online service. So it means that God is important in your life, in our life. So good job, guys. So when we say Happy New Year, it's a new year. Uh, it's time for us to make a... Ta-da! To-do list. Yeah. So we make a plan. Uh, what we are going to do in this new year, in this new month, January. Let's say uh, what, what we are going to do. In the morning, uh, we got up in the morning and then uh, we will get ready for school, right? Yeah, we, we get ready, we take a bath, we get ready to school and then after that, we, uh, we go to school until afternoon. After that, we go home and maybe we take course. We go to course. And then after that, we went home, we go home. Uh, we take a bath, of course, take a bath. And then after we take a bath, what we are going to do? Oh, we have homework. We will do our homework. Yeah. And then, what else? After doing our homework, uh, if we have exam tomorrow, we will study, right? Study. And after that, Oh, I think we finished them all. Okay, so it's time to free time. Yeah, we can play or maybe watching movies. And after that, dinner. What else? We can play again or watching movies again. And then after that, we go to sleep. We go to sleep. Well, this, this is our daily activities, right? But do you realize something is missing here? We are doing all of this. Yeah, I think something is missing. You know what? Actually, when we do all of our activities like this, all of our business, there is one person that is waiting for us. Waiting for us to talk to him. And his name is Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is waiting. When will my child have time for me? Jesus is waiting for us. Just like, do you remember in the story of Eden, the creation of men and women for the first time? It is said in the Bible that God is always walking to the Garden of Eden to do what? Just to have fellowship with Adam and Eve. Just to talk with them because... He is longing to have real relationship. He is longing to just talk with, with men and women. And we are created to do that. And when we spend time, when we put our special time just to talk to God, it's called quiet time. Quiet time. Quiet time. So it means quiet. Is it like this? Quiet time. Um, well, not, not truly true, but it's true that quiet time, we need to be quiet. We cannot uh, talk to God. Uh, we, we play our phone and then we, uh, we talk to God and then we praise and worship God and then we, we scroll our Instagram or whatever. No, when we do quiet time, it means that we have to be quiet. And then we put our hearts and our minds to talk with God, to just spend time with Him, to just have fellowship with him to just seek his presence and that's called quiet time and uh, means is it important to have quiet time every day well i said yes why because the first one the first reason is because quiet time is the best part that we can choose once more time Quiet time is the best part that we can choose. Just like the story of Martha and Mary. Once upon a time, Jesus came to a village called Bethany. 
At that village, there was a family with two sisters named Martha and Mary. These two sisters welcomed Jesus and his disciples to their house. When they arrived at the house, Jesus started to teach and share the words of God. Mary sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. However, do you know what did Martha do? She was so busy in the kitchen to prepare the foods. She served Jesus by preparing foods. However, this causes Martha to be distracted and become far away from Jesus. When Martha saw her sister Mary sitting down and not helping her, she became furious. Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha wished that Jesus would praise and thank her for her attitude of serving and scold her sister Mary to help her. However, Jesus said to Martha, 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 you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So, kids, based on this story of Martha and Mary, actually it's not wrong to serve God. Actually, it's good to serve God, to give our best to serve Him. Yet, there is one of the most important thing among all of our activities. Maybe we can say, okay, uh, surf, serving God is good. Uh, we study is good thing. We go go to mall, go go to for holiday with our family. It's a good thing. But actually, among all of those activities, there is one of the most important thing that we can do as the children of God, which is to do our quiet time, to be just like Mary. You see, Mary just sit down at the Lord's feet and listen to what Jesus said. And Jesus said to Martha, Mary has chosen the best part that would never be taken away from her. Kids, when we spend time with God, not only in the church, not only when we do online service like this, not only when we have CG online, CG kids, but when we have our quiet time every day, we pray to God, that's the best part that will never be taken away from us. That's the best thing that we can choose to do. Miss, uh, what is actually quiet time? Is it quiet time same with pray, with praying? Uh, let me say praying is one of the part of quiet time. So what can we do when we want to do quiet time? I give you some tips. The first one, we can uh, praise and worship God. We can start at with praise and worship God. Praise and worship God's did do not the same, does not same with sing a song for, just sing a song. When we sing a song, it, we just open our mouth and we just sing the song. We just uh, talk the lyric, we just speak the lyrics and then that's all. But when we say praise and worship God, it means that we will... When we sing, we, we will put our attention, we will put our hearts to God. Every lyrics that we say, we will say it to God. For example, Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. When we say that, we will say it with our heart, with our full devotion that we love God. We want to serve all of our emotion to Him. That's praise and worship. And then we can continue with read the words of God. Read the Bible. Yeah, that's very important. If you don't, uh, if you are confused how to start to read the Bible, actually there is, we have an app that can help. It's called I Love My Bible. It's, you can download it in the GMS App Church or you can ask your parents to help you. 
And then I want to give you a challenge. Uh, do it every day, daily. There is, there will be day one, day two. And then if we finish day one, we can click already check in. We already do. We already read the first for today. And then second one, let's do it daily with commitment every single day. And then lastly, we can pray. We can talk to God. Praying doesn't mean that we just talk about, oh God, I want this one. I want my, this is my desire. I want this one. I want this one. Not only that, but when we pray, we can just talk, oh Lord, I miss you. Oh God, I love you. We can just share our day maybe. Oh God, today I experienced this one and this one. We can share with, our, with God just like we share with our best friends. And we can also ask for His guidance, pray for someone else. We can pray maybe our parents are sick or maybe our friends are sick. We can pray for them so that God can heal them. We can talk whatever with God, you know. And that's what we can do in our quiet time. Now let's say it together with me. I love being close to God. One more time. I love being close to God. Yeah, that's the first one why quiet time is very important for us. The second reason is because quiet times renews our strength every day. Quiet time renews our strength every day. Wow, what does it mean? So that my body can be strong? No, no. I can give you an illustration story. So there is one man, he, he is a woodcutter. So he got a job to cut the trees in the forest. And then his employer give him an axe to cut down the trees. Okay, then he, he is so excited to start his first day of working. And then he started to work so hard. And at the first day, he is able to manage to cut down 18 trees and his master was so pleased is so pleased with him and said wow your work is amazing I'm very impressed with your ability to cut down the trees like that because there is no one else that is as strong as you you can uh, cut down so many trees keep working like that wow so this man is very excited on the second day he come back to the work and he's so excited he wants to do his best again to cut down the trees and then he only managed to cut down 15 trees oh okay then he said to himself i will work even harder tomorrow okay on the th on the third day he cut down again the trees he started to work again but the results were disappointing Day by day, he only managed to cut down fewer trees. He never managed to cut down 18 trees, 18 trees just like the first day. And then he said to himself, I think I lost my ability. I lost my strength to cut down the trees. Okay, so he feel ashamed and he feel frustrated. He talked to his master. Master, I'm sorry, I cannot work as as good as the first day and then the master asked him um, when was your last time to sharpen your axe huh sharpen my axe i don't have time for that i'm so busy working so that i can i can cut down more trees i don't have time to sharpen my axe and then the master said you know with new and sharpened eggs you can cut down many trees. But if you never sharpen your eggs and using the same energy, you, your result will decrease. You will not be able to cut down with the same amount of the trees or even higher. Oh, and then he, he nodded and then he started to sharpen his eggs. And he said, thank you, master. I will sharpen my eggs and I will cut down more trees so based on this story do you know that sharpening the axe 
is the same with us when we want to do our quiet time with God. When we do daily devotion, daily quiet time with God, we can renew our strength every day. Not the physical strength, but our inner strength. You know, every day in our um, in the midst of our activity or business, uh, sometimes we cannot avoid problems comes to us. For example, maybe we started go to school. We are so excited to go to school, and then suddenly uh, our friends make us mad, make us angry, and then uh, we got. The result, the exam result, oh, I got bad score on the result. And then we go home, we go home and then our parents, our mom got mad at us, scolded us. And then we feel, oh, very down. You know what? But when we start our day with our quiet time with God, with seek His face, with seek His presence, we will have inner strength inside. We will start our day with different heart problems may come but we will strong we will be strong we will our heart will be full of love full of joy so that we can face the day another example uh, maybe we say ah miss I don't have time just like the woodcutter I don't have time to do quiet time because tomorrow I have exam I need to study and I'm I'm not finished studying oh. But you know what, if we still do our quiet time, if we prioritize God first in all of our business, in all of our activities, we will see the result. We will study faster. God will give us wisdom. God will give us uh, so that we can study better. We can study faster because God is with us. So when we do our quiet time, we will renew our strength, just like our phone. You know, you, you use the phone, right? How if we never charge our phone? Of course, we cannot use it because the battery will, will, will be empty, will be low. But we need to charge it every day, right? Same with us. We need to charge our self daily. So that we can renew our strength. There is a Bible first in, in our Bible. Do you have your Bible? Let's open our Bible. In Isaiah, Isaiah 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Quiet time is the best part that we can choose. Then, and the sec second one, quiet time will renew our strength. So let's make a commitment today. Let's sing this song together. When we, when we sing this song, let's worship Him with all of our hearts. And let's make a commitment to do our quiet time, to meet Him daily. Lord, I give You my heart. I give You my soul. You can lift up your hands. I live for You alone. Every breath that Every moment I'm away, Lord, have your ways in me. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. Lord, have your ways Lord, I give you my heart I give you my soul I live for you alone Every breath that I take Lord, have 
is our hearts. I'm so sorry, Lord. If sometimes I forget about you, if sometimes in the midst of our activities, I forget to just be with you, just like Mary, Lord. Teach us, Lord, so that we can be just like Mary, who loves to sit down at your presence, to be just with you, Lord. Every day, we want to make a commitment, Lord. We want to do our quiet time daily, not because it's a must, because we want to love you more, Lord, because we want to seek you more, Lord, because we want to be just with you. Help us, Lord, if sometimes we forget, Holy Spirit, please remind us so that we, so that we did not skip any day to do our my quiet time, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Kids, let's raise up your hands. I am going to pray for you. I pray, Lord, so that you bless your children. You bless your kids, Lord, with your anointing, with your best gift, Lord. I pray so that Holy Spirit is always be with them wherever they go. They will always do what is right. They will always close to your hearts. He, they will always do what is pleasing to your heart. And I pray so that you can give them wisdom so that they can be good at their school. They can be good at their studying and they can be good at their house. Let them become God's top agent wherever they go, Lord. Anoint them in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
mission today. It's unusual when you ask me to have devotion in the morning. I thought you had to play with Mon Mon. Yes, I do have a play date with Mon Mon, but I know how important it is to have daily devotion before I start my day. Because if I have daily devotion, I know what to do and God's guidance. Hmm, yes, that's right. We need to love to being close to God. And I love being close to God. Let's repeat it with our friends at home. I love. I love. I love being, being close, close to, God. to God. Yes, that's right. We need to close to God every day. Okay, friends at home, I have tips for you guys to have daily devotion. You guys need to have daily devotion too. And here are some tips you can do while doing your daily devotion. First, you guys can listen to worship songs like one or two songs after that you guys need to take holy bible yes you do need holy bible for having daily devotion also have a notebook and stationaries so you can write down what jesus has told us today um, you guys also can listen to worship songs while reading the bible and lastly this is very important give a highlight to it Put your gadgets far, far away because it can distract you. Yes, that's right. You can also follow the daily devotion material in I Love My Bible apps every day and write it down and send it to your CG Kids leader. Don't forget about it. Don't forget your daily devotion. See you next week on Eagle Kids Online Surface. Okay then, see you and God, God bless you. you.